All right, so this here is the larynx. It's hard. This here, um, kind of underneath the, the uh, larynx, is the trachea. This dark colored part is the thymus. Or wait, thyroid. This is the thyroid. Mm -hmm. And this brainy stuff is the thymus. Yeah, so there's a couple And then moving down, we have the cranial lobe of the right lung, the medial lobe of the right lung, and the caudal lobe of the right lung. This is the accessory lobe of the right lung. This is the uh, caudal lobe of the left lung. And up here, it's really small. This is the cranial lobe of the left lung. There is no uh, medial lobe of the left lung. This is the heart. The uh, membrane surrounding it is the uh, is it, it's a peri something cavity, right? No, the, the, well, this is the pleural cavity, this is just space around it, but what's the name of the membrane? Pericardial. This is the pericardial sac. sac. Um, this muscle here, uh, so this is the diaphragm, and moving down we've got the liver, and the we've got the, the uh, yeah. right, right the caudal lobe, the left caudal lobe, the left lateral lobe. Intestine. And the right lateral so lobe. That's kind of like a um, indicator. This, this little greenish comes, area is the gallbladder. It feeds into the cystic duct. Which is, it's um, large um, the lever, large the liver is fed by the hepatic, uh, hepatic, hep, um, uh, hepatic duct. Um, and the two of them meet. Um, underneath this membrane at the uh, common Once bile duct, here, which is then surrounded by the sphincter the uh, of, of odi, which is smooth muscle. And then what we're looking at right here is just a bunch of membranes surrounding the sphincter so of odi. At the end of all um, these coils, this you have is a the stomach. Colon. And um, which is also still coming part of, like part of the large intestine. out of the stomach. Um, like like a, this is a hard it's not part area of right anymore. here. It feeds into yes. the duodenum. So that's transverse. Um, and right which before, feeds into the jejunal right the ileum or small intestine. That's all of yes. this. Um, right and it comes around column, and this this little like lobe-ish thing is the um, uh, source of the C, like the K... Yeah. The same... Uh, no, so transverse is one kind of like piece of the like this is transverse and then it goes down. Ah, uh, the mm -hmm. sacum. Yeah. Cecum. cecum. This is the cecum. Um, mm -hmm. and then this is the ascending loop I think of this the colon. Is part of, this is still part um, of the ascending coil. And it comes yeah. up so like, here before it descends. Here, yeah, this is still um, ascending, ascending pancreas and then around is here it kind of where? goes transverse. Uh, is, oh it's this brainy yeah. stuff surrounding the um, where yeah. surrounding the large intestine is <laughs> about to become the descending loop. Away, and behind that is the kidney. Stuff. Behind that, here's kidney, the uh, left kidney. Yeah. And okay. here's the right kidney. Um, you got the descending yeah. part of the large yeah. intestine. Yeah. Once you like, know how to spell it, it's much easier to um, And this waste connect. ejected from the body. Well, this well, here, yeah, still attached to the, um, the body wall, is the bladder. And I think that's it. And then this is the... Sorry. Oh, sorry, this is the um, right, left, <laughs> left, course, this is the left coronary <laughs> artery uh, and great cardiac vein. They're not really distinguishable, but it's this line right here. It's both of them. This is the umbilical. That's all we learned today.